Oh. I typically kind of fall asleep in a massage, but yeah. I don't think that's not this one. Not, today. not today. <laughs> <laughs> not with the people's elbow, huh? Uh, not with that elbow. I'm gonna tell you, those grubs are awesome. Oh, hey, yeah. I'm holding on to a hero. He's gotta be strong. He's got. <laughs> to say, if you ever, you know, there you give go. up car parking, there we you're go. gonna have a business and performance. I sure. need a hero. <laughs> So it's, I've really just had back problems right in this area. Okay. I get real bad headaches that just kind of radiate from here, kind of top of my head. Um, that's been going on for years. A lot of tension. Yeah, yeah. But I, uh, it was in June, wait, what month is this? Yeah. Beginning of June, um, I was working out, lifting weights, and um, nothing happened in the moment. But when I got home, I just like, everything like locked up. A lot of pain. I couldn't move my neck, couldn't tilt my neck. Um, had like tingling down my shoulders in this area, and uh, went to my doctor. They did an X-ray. Nothing showed up on the X-ray. Um, then we we're going to do an MRI, and then that never happened. So imaging can only show so much. Sure. But um, so the alignment that you're in and the mobility you're in when you're exercising determines where the stresses go. Right. So typically, you know, with the loss of curve in the neck. <laughs> or head being forward, and then you lift weights with that alignment, all the stress ends up happening in the lower yeah. neck. And then the lower neck, well, the nerves that leave the lower neck go down the arms. Right. So a lot of the tension even happens because of posture. The posture that we're in that starts when we were a kid, that we don't live in a world where we have many postural people trying, like looking at you going, hey, your ear, for instance, should be over the center of your shoulder. And the more forward your head goes from your shoulder, it's harder to take a deep breath in. It's harder to, you know, your jaw is going to hurt. Right. You're going to have tension in your neck. MRI, we can see some of the disc injury. So we'd be able to see very likely that, you know, you're 40, your lower neck might be 55. You know, it's older yeah. than you are. And that's, that's what I deal with all day long in here is I want to teach how do, I, how do I have my spine be the same age as me as I age? I don't want to, it's okay for that to be your age. You know, if you take an MRI of you at 40 and your spine looks 40, Hey, I'm 40, right, right? right? It would be unusual if at 40 part of your spine looked 18, yeah. right? That they all too often I'll have an MRI report. I had a 70 year old, his middle back looked 18. The medical world said unremarkable, and I go, it's not unremarkable that part of your spine hasn't aged, yeah. right? If your hair or your skin or any part of your body resembled 18 year old you, you wouldn't say unremarkable. So that's what the pictures are done to me. In my opinion, the MRI doesn't change my care necessarily, sure. but it does help to clue us into, hey, is your spine aging at, at a good rate? Or hey, man, there's part of your spine that's older than you are. Let's try to change the alignment so that that area doesn't continue to age right. too quickly. So you said, do you currently have symptoms down your arms? Not right now. I had I haven't lifted at all or really worked out in two months. So okay. just was letting everything kind of subside. But it lasted for a good four weeks okay. before it really went away. And so headaches, how often would you say just generally? Almost every day. Every day. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's that's pretty I'm happy, that's my bread and butter. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's very, so we call them cervicogenic headaches, right? So the yeah. tension in your neck is postural, and, and your work requires a lot of sitting, I guess? Um, all day, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when we're sitting a lot, we have to do things to counter stretch. Right. In order to safely counter stretch, so it's like a tree that's leaned over. You can't just take it and stand it up straight. Right. It'll, it'll keep on. So we have to loosen up the spine, bend it the other way so that it'll be in the middle. Yeah. All right, let me just check here. Anything else? Ringing in the ears, how long has that been going on? Uh, as long as I can remember. All right. So a lot of even even the ears, the sinuses, the face, all this drains down the neck. And so right. it's not, I ask that because it's not a coincidence that you have headaches and there's ringing in the ears. Those are connected. Yeah. But our world doesn't necessarily connect the dots for people. I'm just looking up here. Okay. Oh. As the head goes forward, every inch it doubles. So 10 pounds, 20, 40, yeah. 80. Your muscles are feeling like they're holding an 80 pound head. And in order to alleviate that, we can adjust and massage and gua sha and laser and electrocute and zap. Right. None of that. We have to get that ear hole over the center of your shoulder. And to do it safely, we're gonna spend some time loosening up. And then we're gonna, so essentially you're at positive three, I call it, mm -hmm. right? We're at positive three, right? We want you to be at zero, right? In order to safely go to zero, 
we're gonna, we have to get you like negative three, do you understand? Right. So yeah. that zero will be, will be where you wanna be. Yeah. Now, many times the body goes forward to get away from mm -hmm. symptoms back here. You told me you had ridiculous symptoms, which means that when, when you have symptoms like that, your body will just slightly, oh, they're gone. Do you understand? Mm. Not really gone, you went away from them. Right. So that, that's where an MRI would help me see what's so bad in there that made your head, not just from sitting and work, that fed it, right. but there was something underneath it all that made your head want to go forward to get away from it. And that goes to the principle where when, when you bend forward, the holes get bigger. Right. Right. So this is where we have to be careful as chiropractors that I can't take you to negative three quickly. And in fact, we're probably just gonna ask for zero. Do you understand? And that's actually what face down on my table does. This table, the headpiece, doesn't let you, does that make sense? Put yeah. your head forward. And so many times, Ed, your face piece is hurting my, it's hurting my face. Uh, you're, you're scrunching my cheeks. That's because you wanna be pushed forward and the headpiece, does that make sense? Yeah. Is pushing you back. It's not even asking you to, I'm not asking you to bend back on face down. I'm, asking, I'm just asking for neutral. So all of everything I'm teaching today is, is ultimately used to guide us to the stretching. That I hope that I can give you the foundation today of how can I stretch? How can I find somebody? I know you traveled quite a bit to get here. You know, so the goal is, you know, using this information and maybe helping guide people where you live near you to help keep your spine limber right. so that the stretches that I show you will be effective. And heck, just going from positive three to one is going to be a miracle. You're going to go, Ed, I have hardly any head. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. you have so much, you're very far from home, and I doubt anybody's really talked about what I'm talking about today. No, I mean, other than what I've watched in your videos, yeah. No one's so the chiropractors aren't saying, hey, your head's three inches forward, let's do something about it. Right. Or even if they did say something about it, you know, what's the plan for attack? Yeah, there was no education in my chiropractor okay. visits. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Ben, yep, good, good. All right, take a little sit up. I'm gonna help you. Take one deep breath in. Right. Let the jaw relax. Here we go, deep breath in and move. Deep breath in and exhale. Oh, deep breath in. Push your shoulder. Okay. Love you, bad, okay. Stay there, you okay? Yep, good. I know. Deep <laughs> breath in. So I'm gonna put your back of your head in that little slit. That'll hold you. And then try to get this bottom leg a little straighter. There we go. Perfect. You're not gonna fall, I promise. Take a deep breath in, I got you. You're not gonna fall, I got you. Good. Last side for me, good, huh? Mm -hmm. There we go. And breathe, exhale. Sorry, there we go. Good, face up for me, good, huh? You're in what I call right avoidance. So when your head is straight on your torso, the bones mm -hmm. are all sticking out on the right. Okay. When you tilt your head to the left, the, the bones shift to the right, it's the very simple analogy of the bicycle with the handlebars and the and the tire not lining up together. Right. If I tilt you to the right, right there, your bones are level mm. in your neck, but now your head's tilted 15, 20 degrees right. to the right. So essentially, when your head's straight with your torso, you see how the left, you're going to wear this out because you're in avoidance. Mm -hmm. Your head's tilted left, and so the left lower part of your neck will be you know, kind of the area that ages quickly. Okay, there you go. There you go, I got you. Uh, let it go. There you go. Oh. Okay, I got you. Right. Yeah, work some of that tension out of there. Yeah, you were mentioning, uh, like when I lay on my stomach for a massage, yes. like my back will always kind of tighten up. Mm -hmm. Right, well, part of that is that we're, we're just laying face down is asking for zero, right? right. It's asking for neutral. Now, you know, it's, it's, if the holes get smaller and then you start hitting the nerve, the nerve then tasers the muscles and your back gets tight, right? Yeah. Or if the joint starts getting too pressured, the muscles will try to selectively guard areas that are being injured. Muscles aren't supposed to just be giving stability to our body. Right, right. They can give stability. I'm not saying you can't make muscles give stability. It's not their job. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I know, they, people repeat this over and over again. No, it's the job of the alignment the ligaments, the joints, the discs, the bones, you're saying that's what's supposed to give you stability. Muscles, if anything, when they're when they're working the way they're supposed to, they destabilize you, right? So if mm. I if I wanted to sh stabilize your shoulder joint, right? Your glenohumeral joint, I would right. duct tape your arm to your side of your body. <laughs> <laughs> 
stable. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah. move. <laughs> right? So spasm. You know, spasm the pec, spasm the deltoid, mm -hmm. just, just lock everything down, right? Right. But just normally contracting your deltoid or supraspinatus, do you understand? My arm is less stable here right. than it is down here. Yeah. The car door is destabilized by opening it. If you mm -hmm. want to stabilize your car door, you just lock it and don't ever <laughs> right. duct tape it shut. You understand? But they act like this, the job of your deltoid is to give stability to your glenohumeral joints. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> It can give stability. You can have a spasm muscle, but now you're saying to me that the job of a muscle is to be in a spasm? <laughs> is that what, or a splint we call it, right? No, it's supposed to contract, relax, move us. Anyway, just, you, you'll get fed this stuff throughout life. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm warning. Somebody's gonna say to you, well, it's because your neck hurts because your core's weak. Uh, oh. It's because your, your neck muscles are weak. No, they are not. If anybody's rubbed your neck for more than five seconds, you got plenty of power and strength in here. Yeah. What you, what you lack is the right alignment. and. And um, you've been, like I said, injuries in life, and then we healed in avoidance, and now we're, now we're in the wilderness. Where am I? Right. How did I get here? Doctor Ed said I was three inches forward. Okay. How do I, <laughs> how do I get how do I get back to home? Yeah, I think the prodigal child story is my favorite. Where, you know, the the son that you know took his dad's inheritance mm -hmm. right and then like squandered it. Right. And right. now he's like. Eating the pig food. That's when you know you're in a yep. low place. Like you're out there in a pig stop. Well, no, I'm sorry. He's not eating the pig food. He's yearning to eat right, the pig right, slop. Right. He doesn't even have the pig slop. <laughs> and you know, um, that's how far away you can get from home. It's like where? Can I, I want to get back in the house. <laughs> Come back home. You know, I joke that you know, when our time is done, if, I swear if he said lordosis one more time, you know, because <laughs> it's going to be coming out your ears. You know. You know, the, the point of it is that your neck isn't supposed to be ortho or straight. Yeah. That it's that it belongs curved. Okay. Also, uh, yeah, yeah. Bought a recliner earlier this year. But okay. I have to get rid of, okay. So. Well, hey, uh, <laughs> that's all job security. Keeps me. Uh, uh, yeah. I had missed that in your videos. I no, know. Not too oh, It's okay. It's okay. But it makes sense because I I find myself. It's balance. Yeah. I hope I hope everything I say is with the understanding of. The, the problem is you, if you spend eight hours or ten hours working seated or right. bent forward, and then you go spend your couple hours of downtime continuing to bend <laughs> forward, that, that's the problem. Yeah. You're right there's a mark coming out right on that nail. Yeah. There we go. So the mark represents kind of the fascial adhesions, dead blood, inflammation, stagnation that's been trapped in these tight areas because of the posture, mm. because of injuries. Yeah. And that the nerve, by proximity, it doesn't exactly like it so much. <laughs> right. And so by bringing blood in there, oxygen binds to the lactic acid, forms carbon dioxide and water, and you actually, I call it cleaning, it just rinses out the acidity, kind of like getting, we have love bugs here in Florida, and so mm. if you leave them on the paint of your car, the love bugs will eat the paint. And so it's kind of like lactic acid will do the same thing to the joints in your spine and the tissue, it'll kind of just inflame it all. Right. There's your headache right there. Sometimes by stirring this up, you might, you know, it might wake everything up, but after the mark goes away is usually mm -hmm. when, you know, Ed, it was a little sore for a few days, and then right. when the mark went away, oh my gosh, there's a huge improvement. Yeah. And then the dinner all I'm going to show you at the end of the visit is to, you know, compress and hold your head, you know, kind of middle upper neck, mm -hmm. right? So I don't want it so high that your chin is down. I don't right. want it so low it's in your lower neck. It's kind of the middle upper neck. You'll take your hand, you'll press, and you'll want to push this arch, and then you want to try to see if your head will stay here. Yeah. And you hold your head here for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes is not a, just a number I thought sounded cool. <laughs> uh, it's a real number for how long it takes to stretch these ligaments. Right. And posture change. When you're when you're bent forward or you're bent back for longer than 20 minutes, you start lengthening these rubber bands called ligaments that wrap your spine, and that's how your postures change. And so we have to counter stretch. Ideally, the end of the day, kind of like brushing your teeth, you want to live your life, and then obviously before you go to bed, try to clean everything up, put it in the right place, right. and then go to bed. You're not too unlevel. It's actually, not. It's not too unlevel here, so. It's, it's rounded, you know, right? This is larger right. than it's supposed to be, but I don't have a, a 
little bit more on the right here on the shoulder here. This is a little bit lower, maybe right here, but the, this is about level. Hello. Mm -hmm. See, there's no knot here. Yeah. Who put <laughs> who put this in here? Mm -hmm. like PC <laughs> So this is connected to your neck in the sense that if this won't go in, you can't actually bring your head back, right? right? So the, we call this coupled motion. The, the chest has to go in, and then that will also allow the head to come back. So you only get so far in retracting your head back if we don't work on getting this in also. And so we're going to show you some things at the end okay. to actually work on. Like, why am I working on the chest? I told you. you, know, <laughs> I told you he said it was my neck. Correct. but. The neck will benefit not only by loosening your chest, but by bringing the chest in so that your head can, can retract back. And then, you know, the motion is lotion. When you don't use it, you lose it. When the parts of our back that are stiff get stiffer, you don't notice it. Right, right. <laughs> right, until, until I push on it and you go, oh, yeah, stiff. <laughs> I didn't, didn't realize it until you touched it there, Ed. Right, just, so just, if I'm going too hard, please let me know. I'm going to keep digging harder here, but... Nope, okay. I, don't, I don't need to kill you on the first time. Uh -huh. <laughs> I couldn't move the next day. Oh my. Right there. This will auto level as we stretch. So um, the side that has the more knots will, you know, eventually, you know, the, the stiffer side takes longer, but we'll actually right. get more pressure on it when you're stretching. So it'll auto level. Even when you're on the plane, take a water bottle and <laughs> stick it right here behind your back. Yeah. You know, when you're at home or working at the desk, you know, you, right. there are things we can do when we're sitting to not allow us to be as far misaligned as we could be. Yeah. <laughs> right? To try to maintain some semblance of better posture. Now, you're right, you're going to still need to land your back on the end of the day and stretch, but there's right. things we can do to reduce the amount of debt we build up throughout the day. And, I'll get real achy down mm. towards my tailbone mm -hmm. if I sit for too long. Mm -hmm. Give me a break, <laughs> you get cat bar. <laughs> Give me a break for that. Mm -hmm. Also in the office where Andy can't remember. <laughs> Fancy <laughs> feast. <laughs> <laughs> that show is awesome. <laughs> Loud noises. <laughs> <laughs> That's Anchorman, but anyway. Uh, still Steve Carell. But, right, same uh, general uh, ideas. Loud noises. You got a trident. Yeah, that got out of hand quickly, didn't it? <laughs> I, Toby, I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. <laughs> it's so much nicer than saying, I hate you. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. <laughs> See that side right there? Yeah. It feels like it's spasming a little bit. Correct. Yeah, this is the abuse side. This side actually overworks. Mm. So because this is locked, this side's going to pinch. Yeah. Because you're, same as your neck, the right is avoidance, left is the abuse. And so try to open this side up. As I push on your back, we're actually you know bringing you more upright. So we're going to, as that hole gets. You know, larger bending forward, it gets smaller bending back. And this, mm. is, this is also why I work on people laying down. Yeah. So there's no weight on the spine as I bring you upright. You know, I don't want the spine compressed at the same time. And so. There we go. Yeah. I typically kind of fall asleep in a massage, but yeah. I don't think that's Not this one. To uh, not today. <laughs> <laughs> Not with the people's elbow, huh? Uh -huh. Not with that elbow. Let me tell you, those scrubs are awesome. Oh, hey, yeah, my might. We just started using them. We like them. We're just trying something different. Ooh. Mm -hmm.
you can tell a huge difference, right? I mean, this is <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's there's a couple bumps over here, yeah. but oh my gosh, like the, the right side is just. These are the roots of your neck right here. Yeah, yeah. right there. Oh yeah. You know, notice how quickly that comes up. That's just a lot buried right there on the top of your shoulder blade. I believe it. Mm -hmm. This and cupping and so Isn't that cool. So interesting. Yeah, no, it's this can't be seen on MRI or right. you know, obviously seen on X ray. So it's I feel like all too often it's we act like it doesn't exist because it can't be measured. Right? We want everything to be objectively measurable on a blood test or seen on MRI, right? They want to quantify right. it, right? It can be felt, it can be seen, it can be touched, right? But it can't be you know, there's no blood test to, your number was 168, now it's 32. <laughs> they want everything to be quantifiable and measurable. Anyway. Yeah, these right here. How quickly the mark comes out also signifies how much is inside. Sure. So when yeah. I when I just you know blow on, <laughs> I just start <laughs> gently guashawing an area and it comes out real dark real quick. It's like, geez, how much how many Cheerios are on the carpet? You know, like, how much dirt is in the right? You know, kind of idea. It's, uh, with the eventual you know goal that really with it, all that should happen is you get kind of a, a light red. Right. You don't get that dark red. It's Wash on what really should happen is light red. Okay. And then the nerve, you have, you have joint pain, so the joints will give pain to your shoulder blade on the back. Right. And then the, obviously the, you have the radicular pain the, going down your arms, so that's that's the nerve root. So you have those, those are right next to each other. There's the joint, the hole, the nerve goes through, the disc is in the front, and the nerve gets sandwiched in between. And so it's a, the game is about moving as much stress off the lower neck as possible. Those symptoms are from essentially a lower neck saying, <laughs> it's a lower neck's cry for help. Yeah. Saying, would somebody else come to my aid? I need a hero. <laughs> I'm holding on to a hero. He's gotta be strong. He's got <laughs> to be safe. You ever, you know, there you give go. up car parking. There we You're go. You're gonna have a business and performance. I sure. need a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. dog, right there. There you, sir. Yeah. This is a hard area to self-treat. I don't, I don't have any good recommendations other than you have to guide somebody and <laughs> help me. This joint never has surgery. It's called the sacroiliac joint. Sacro yeah. means sacred. Iliac means wing. So between the, sac the sacred bone and the wing bone, there's a joint there. And when this joint gets stiff through sitting, it doesn't exactly appreciate me. Nope. You know, asking, and then the nerves that come right next door to that joint go to your tail, tailbone and down the leg. Yeah. So cleaning all this area, getting the soreness out of here. Is, like you said earlier, Ed, I sit too long and I get mm -hmm. tailbone sacral pain. It's,
Target's going to be right here. This yeah. is the peak of the misalignment. The Mount Everest is right here, okay. just holding in order to get the head back truly. What will happen is you'll reach a limit to how much you can benefit with just the neck dead and roll. Do you okay. understand? Until, yeah. like, you can go from maybe positive three to like positive one and a half, and you won't be able to go farther until you get this okay. in. Uh, the, the bottleneck will shift to this being the you know, what's preventing you from being more upright. Thing. That's that shoulder, yep. that's that whole left side that you're saying is hurting. You right. All the inflammation, the nerves are sitting in that. Mm. And these are all the, all the lumps and tightness on that right, side. Right, yeah, right. we got to get all that out of there. Okay. What sports did you play in high school? Did you do any? Uh, I didn't. A sports I marching band. Marching band, okay. Right. Yeah. Hey, I was glad you got in football. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. I played football one year in fifth grade, and uh -huh. uh, I got tackled one time. I was like, nope. Cool. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I broke this foot. Of, I mean, you didn't hurt anything, but I broke uh -huh. this a couple years ago. I can tell some stuff has yeah. definitely been. So I'm trying to figure out what, what you've done to this foot. <laughs> I uh, uh -huh. was in a lip sync battle and doing a total eclipse of the heart and jumped off the stage and. Total eclipse of the heart <laughs> and my spine. <laughs> uh, broke it. Oh, oh my gosh! I mean, I didn't me. even win. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and tilt your head to the right. There we go, yeah. Go ahead and tilt your head right. There you go. I'll try and do this on myself. <laughs> You've been watching the videos like, how do I do this? <laughs> uh, I'm always afraid to pull too hard. I got you tilt. Oh, yeah. I'll go ahead and tilt. What? Let's take a look. There we go. Go ahead and tilt. <laughs> well. It's right. fascinating. You're fine. You know, press back right here in there. Yep, there you go. You got it. Good. I know you've been watching Brenda. Right <laughs> you want to know why? She always says, look up. Because you looked up. Look up, look up, look up. It's okay. Good. Brenda's influence. Uh -huh. <laughs> Every chef wants to cook a little differently. Uh -huh. No, if your joints all feel good, they don't have any. My goodness. I can tell you haven't been, you know, boxing or. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Traumatic playing hockey or something. This one I used to get like a calcium deposit on my wrist. Uh huh. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I would like were... bang it with like a remote control. Like a Bible. Yeah, yeah, like a Bible. Yeah. 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 Whoosh. yeah. <laughs> I, uh -huh. It'd come about once a year and I would yeah. try uh -huh. to break it off. Yeah, it's from immobility. You want to try to get here and yeah. work this area. It's from, to me, stagnation. That makes sense? Yeah. And then you want to just try to see if your neck will stay there. It won't. The right. more you do it, it will. It does take time for your neck to conform and, and adapt and get mm -hmm. used to being curved. I'm trying to do two things with this. We're trying to loosen. I didn't get a good picture of your neck. There was two marks on both sides of your upper right. neck also. And those marks are from stiffness. So we're trying to loosen yeah. and we're trying to curve and mold. Any correlation between neck head being forward and sleep apnea? Absolutely. Yeah, no, absolutely, yes. Yeah, because I just I got a CPAP earlier this year because of real bad sleep apnea. So. Yeah. yeah, it's harder to breathe. It's harder to, the more, the more head forward the head is, the more you're making it, it's very easy. I, I try to illustrate this, you know, everybody at home can, you know, just 
when you're just sitting there, push your head forward, not me right now, but the people <laughs> that are watching you, you push your head forward and try to take a deep breath in. Right. Right, and then bring your head back and take a deep breath in. It's like, it's so much easier to breathe. And that's really what the CPAP is doing. It's assisting and pushing mm -hmm. air in, right? right. But mm -hmm. why is there so much restriction that it, yeah. that, 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 that assistance is, is needed? So, uh, yes, not only uh, breathing in, also lifting your arms up. Another easy one to show people. Yeah, is, I've done know, that one. If you push your head forward, <laughs> like you can't even. <laughs> I, know, I made my wife do it. I was like, what? Do this. You don't can't, lift your arms. You can't even lift your you arms. Do it. You can't do it. It's ridiculous. You can't put my arms. You bring your arms back. And it's like, oh, there we go. I can lift my, can lift my arms up. <laughs> Knees bent for this one. Yep. Yes, sir. There we go. And then you kind of, if you can, put your arms up if you can. And then if it's too difficult, you want to see if you can rest them on that if possible. If, if it's, we are going to work all these angles. So right. it's not just noon, but all these angles. And it's okay to have your arms to the side also. You can put the arms okay. kind of laterally. That's fine too. We are trying to bring the shoulders. Does that make sense? Back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one inch down. Yep. Breathe. There you go. And then we're gonna eventually. And if it's too difficult, you run away. You understand? Does that make sense? Yeah. If it's too difficult, don't. You know, maybe we spend the first month up here, right? With the eventual goal, we're gonna bring this guy down to. Uh -huh, mm. Those horrible. <laughs> but you're gonna think of it like an army. You're gonna attack and then run away. You understand? And you're gonna yeah. keep advancing your army towards that middle back. I have about this much material, maybe four or five inches behind mm. your head. Wow. So books, something more rigid, and you set it up, you put it on your middle back, and then you just try to, you know, again, the more you're adjusted, the more you're massaged, you'll be able to progress less with less difficulty on this. All right, yeah, yeah. So when they invent cloning, uh -huh. I expect them to make multiples of you. <laughs> Spread all over the I United have two States. I have two sons. I, I've uh, done the best I can to clone myself. And I'm, 